Whoa. The base. Hey guys, we're in the woods of Vermont and we just found the flasher, Phallus duplicatus. This is a stinkhorn mushroom that, oh my God, smells so bad and I'm covered in flies as I try to touch this thing. But they start out in these big fleshy jelly eggs. You can see down here, big gooey thing. They rise up, emerging from the forest floor, kind of like mother nature's, uh, you know, and uh, they're covered in this black stinky gleba, which is a layer of spores. It just smells, it smells like rotting flesh, smells like dead animal, um, and it attracts flies. And the whole point is that this mushroom doesn't actually use wind to help disperse its spores. It's got all the in this black sticky goo called a gleba and that's what the animals are coming and crawling all over so when we found this thing it was absolutely covered in fruit flies and horse flies and all sorts of stuff but as it matures it has this veil that kind of comes out and opens up and it just it just stinks to high heaven the forest smells we knew they were here because we could smell them up the hill they are a seriously impressive mushroom this is the flasher or phallus duplicata That's the biggest one I've seen. <laughs> Let me see that again. Stinkhorn egg. So stinky. This veil. It's amazing. You ready? Ooh, look at that. It's a little That's bit rotten. So pretty. Huh. Wow. Stinkhorn egg. Give it, give it a good squeeze for me. Let me see how jelly it is. Woo! <laughs> you can pop Which is I? You can eat the white part inside. Yeah, you have to be pretty brave. Yeah, but you can. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Salty Josh did it. I, I wouldn't do it, but you can do it. I'd have to be very hungry. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness, look at that. <laughs> God. Look at those flies go. They're loving it. Stinky gleba all over the place. Up. God bless your nose. Um, 